Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to quickly talk you through today updating Albion to 4.2 and also uh, just very quickly a couple of the fixes and new features. So you'll see that we've downloaded using Connect to this folder here, downloaded to here and we've got our two uh, files that have been downloaded, both very small files and they've expanded into um, this folder structure here. Now this is our existing Albion library. Um, you'll see that we have Instruments v4 here and just Instruments in the download. The reason for this is that if you look here at Contact, when you don't have just either an Instruments and then a Multis or just Instruments on its own, you don't get this um, kind of friendly looking instruments and multis appearing here. If the folders are named anything other than that you just get a browse bar. So what we've done is we've given the option for people to, to go back to the old instrument style. Um, you can also check what version you're on directly from the front panel which I'll show you in a minute. So let's assume that we want to upgrade, update. Um, the first thing we need to do, you can see that the version 4 script and the info, uh, info files are the same but we're going to drag over this new script which has a couple of new features in it. So that's the first file to drag over. And then we're going to drag over the new instruments folder. Now I'm going to delete my old instruments folder because um, I'm not worried about keeping access to the old version 4.1 instruments. Um, and when I go into contact and refresh, you'll see that it changes now. So we now have instruments there and it's got all of our stuff. A little bit friendlier. So um, you'll see that one of the new things is this start offset patches here. These are patches which have been set up with something we had a couple of versions back um, and then took out because it was taking up too much memory. But we've put it back in again as a single option. Now the only um, articulations that are in here are the short, the relevant short articulations. And you'll see here that among the sliders you've got a start offset slider which you can drag here, which is um, set by default to CC16, but you can change that to anything you want just by remove MIDI automation and then learn and wiggle one of your faders, whatever you've got uh, that you want to use. So this basically cuts into the start of the sample um, and if you drag it all the way to the right it'll be very abrupt sounding. Um, so you can get a much tighter sample start if you want to do something that has that is much more rhythmic and faster. This can be a great way to tighten up the starts of all of these samples. So that's one new useful little thing. Some other things that are in here um, in the kind of change log that we have uh, are um, we've got the FX sequencer which was um, not working on some of the patches is now working correctly. Um, the Ostinatum no longer has issues in two-handed percussion mode. Um, we've tweaked some of the high strings shorts starting times to fix some of those. Neighboring zones now pitch bend correctly. There are other bug fixes. In the longs, uh, the normal longs in here, we've added the hard attack available when you when you um, play the keyboard hard. So you've got two different attacks there. And we've added UX support to the majority of the articulation type. So if we go back into um, the high strings patch. I'll show you where that appears. Uh, just loading. Okay, so you'll see down here you can lock to UX. So that that is our new um, our new uh, CC system, whereby a single. Uh, so for example, here it's set to 32 for the UX. There you can right click that. You can change that to whatever you want, but. But that's what it's set to. And then, for example, um, you can see the, the spec on our website. But each for each value of CC32, um, when you're locked to UAC, it will basically control which articulation to, you switch to. So a certain value will switch to a certain articulation. One of the advantages of this, if you're using your iPad with Lima or Touch OSC or anything like that, is that you can, you can uh, send a continuous controller message in your sequencer by pushing a button on your lemur if you've got it set up like that and then wherever you click in your sequence it will pick up that value so it'll switch to the correct articulation it's got that that is a, an advantage over key switching because you don't have to you don't have to go play the sequence from the where the key switch is in order to get the the right articulation to switch Anyway, you can read more about that on our website, um, but that's how you update to version 4.2 of Albion. 
Um, we'll be updating the manual very shortly so to reflect a couple of the new features, but it's it's not significantly uh, massively different to, to version 4.1. There's just a few fixes under the hood. So I hope this fixes all of your any issues that you might have had with, with 4.1 and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for listening.